All right, guys, welcome back to the Roman reunification. So today we will be seeing how far we can get into Italy, which is technically Francia, but uh, well, we're not gonna argue over semantics. It's only 8.27 after all. So yesterday we had quite a successful day, all in all. We managed to pretty much sol the, the religion is solid. Let's <laughs> put it that way. We're almost at 100% moral authority. We took a good chunk of territory. We now own everything on the east, uh, western flank of the Byzantium de Jure. The only things we're missing now are the bits over here. Let's have a look, which is, yeah, this bit here. So big chunk here. So next, once we're out of truce lock with the Abbasids, we'll take this area. So we own all of Georgia. And we'll have to poke Kazaria to steal this bit back, because that's ours. After that, we will then... <laughs> the only place really we can go is... Oh, wow, he did not have a good time. He's imprisoned. <laughs> Sucks to be him. They've imprisoned an emperor. Lol. But, yeah. So he hasn't had himself a fun time. And I'm going to make his time even less fun because sooner or later I'm going to be trying to steal all of his land because, well, let's be honest, it's, it's actually my land. He just, he's just keeping it warm for me. So, so we'll kick off. Now we noticed previously that, why the hell has I got a hundred supply limit? Get my troops out of there. So we noticed yesterday that Venice, um, I, we see that my hunger for food has left me with no desire left in all my body. All that's left for me is to eat, eat, and eat. Oh no. Oh no, I need to go on a diet. Cause, oh, because I am gluttonous. Ooh, that's not good. Nobody wants gluttonous. So, the only area on the west here that is free Potentially is going to be de jure Amalfi. So we could take Amalfi. That could be good. And we could de jure Neopolis. <laughs> Neopolis. Oh, that's part of Capua. No, that's fair enough. So we'll take those little outlying territories. On the plus side of that as well, that will give us Amalfi and Venice. We need to get Genoa. Genoa is. Yeah, he's there. But one step at a time. So we will take France. Is he at war with somebody? No, he's just leading troops somewhere. Okay. Um, he is a badass general. He could levy a lot of troops. He's but he's only got two to play with. Okay. Let's go to war, guys. Oh wait, I can't get in there. Why can I not get there? Wait, no. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna let, raise my levies just because I don't trust it. There we go. So we will, we need some boats apparently. Get away with not raising the entire fleet's levies. Maybe that would be nice. Raise my fleets. I have no idea what's going on with these guys' area, but it's not good. Where's he going? in one place. So we're going to need about 50 boats, I think. We need more boats.
He has two boats. We shall use those. This is five boats. And 60, ah, 61 boats. Now we're getting somewhere. I think that should be enough. Yes, it should. We no longer require your services, little boat. Ah, that's where he went. Maybe we should get more boats. No, actually, no. We'll, we'll, we'll go over here and take his land. If we own Venice, just siege it down. He's snookered then. Because he's only got 1,900 to protect him. Prestige! Ooh, that's bad. It's a good thing I brought so many troops. That would have been a very bad fight. Hey, my son. Oh, that's the... Con that, uh, we don't care about that guy. As harsh as it is to say, we, we don't care about him. We need more troops. Yes, the white stag. We must find it. Drop some troops on Brennison, the boot. So we don't own any of that yet. Come on, guys. My lady's pieces will be the money finds so, so treacherous. This marker's my friend. Just jealous. Okay, so slowly bringing the troops. Ah, more tech. Sweet, sweet tech. Yeah. We want him to be charitable. Oh, and he got the lustful trait. Damn it. That was not what we were pitching for there. And here. I'm not sure why he sent his troops all the way over there when he could have just landed them here. How many troops can Amalfi get? Not many. Good boy, humble. We will let that build up. Saddle the horse, we shall find the white stag. And destroy it. Good. Charismatic negotiator, but... He's my half-brother. We don't care about the half-brothers. Good. Oh. Nicely done. And now chase down his troops. Stag eludes me. I'm interested to see what happens when the White Stag actually is a thing because 
It looks like a fun pop-up. His troops. They don't really want to stay in one place for too long. Excellent. Oh, I've captured him. Now it's all over. Can I ransom him for even more money? 145 gold. I ransom him. I lose a bit of war score, I think, but I still offer peace. Excellent. Venezia. So I need to give some of that city. Excellent. <clears throat> That's the retinues. We'll leave them over here, actually. We don't need these guys anymore. You have done your jobs well. Now, do we have any courtiers that we don't really care about? He's a zealot orthodox. He's chaste. He has a wife. Ah, he, oh, he's that lowborn guy. Courtier. No. We'll just buy a new guy. <clears throat> That'll make things nice and easy. Uh, for 100 gold, are you kidding me? God, there's no good stuff. Cordy, you're 30 years old. Eunuch, oh, that would be why. You're not going to be any use to me, are you? You can't make a family line. Prince of Bavaria? Why is he in my court? And why was... That is so odd. We'll ransom all the people that can be ransomed for all of the fat loots. And to hell with it, we'll just... buy Stephanus. He'll do. Stephanos, where are you? There you are. He's cruel. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. No, I'm not giving you Lombardy. That's way too close. There we go. Nice bastard child. No one cares about those. Come on. I accept the suggestion. Of course you do. I am the Emperor. Grant land a title. County of Valencia. Include lower titles. Wait. Oh, I didn't need to give him the duchy. That's why. I was getting wondering for a second there. Why is he not popping up saying... Grant land a title. Duchy of Valencia. There we go. New Trade Republic. It's all mine. Does he still retain his trade routes? No, he doesn't. Ah, oh, because it's a new guy. You need to set up all brand new trade routes. That means Genoa is going to destroy. Because if I take a Malfi, all the competition in this area just goes while they build up some power base. Oh well. <laughs> now, what else am I going to take? Ooh, what's that? Can I take him? Balakas's belly. Oh, he's the last holdout of the Orthodox guys. <laughs> Do you want to be my vassal? How are you vassalized to Bohemia of all places? Foreign culture creation. Oh, well, you suck. You know, if you don't want my protection, that's fine. But you're just going to get nommed up by people that can actually holy war you. So, on your head be it. So, when are we truce locked out in Muslim territories? Abyssidia. Uh, 
truce lock till 33. That's another five years. And he can levy up quite a few men now. Attacking the invasion of Turkland. That's not good. He's a little too powerful for my liking. But he is on his own. So we shall take advantage of that. With a sneaky save, because I can't remember if I did or not. <laughs> We'll get rid of these guys. Oh wait, no. We'll dock these guys and then we'll get rid of them so we don't lose them. There we go. So, Neopolis, it is your claim. You are now mine. Really need to get rid of this Catholic bishop in Rome. Can't believe I didn't pay attention to that. So we've got an orthodox bishop, an orthodox bishop, but we we lost that one. Damn it! We'll just have to wait till he dies, and I'm pretty sure that because the leader is Catholic, what? How did she get that territory? How did? How are you? Man, religious conversion, damn you. Oi, oi. Converting to Catholicism? No. Messing up Rome. I'm gonna, if I have to take that territory back and piss everybody off just so I can get the correct religion in Rome, I'm gonna be so annoyed. wait till I'm old. Uh, hmm. The air is... Oh, damn it! I don't want the heirs to be <laughs> Catholics. Damn you! Damn you to hell! I could revoke your tidy, ti tidy, title. Ah, my son, come kind. Get some decent stats going on. Well, at least you've got a half de decent diplomacy. Maybe I'll get lucky. You got more than your old man, and you still got a little little training up to do. Malfi, where are you off to? What is Amalfi doing? Uh. Defending against Duke Benevito on the Malfi claim. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> Just because he's slothful, he doesn't like getting called on it. It's his own stupid fault. I'm going to need to start using my actual chancellor. Well, actually, I'm going to need a better actual chancellor. Um, to start taking territory. We'll start with the bottom and work our way up. Because we're going to need this one as well. It's all about a land grab at the moment. Oh no, I'm old. So old. So my guy better come of age so I can find him a good wife before it all goes terribly wrong and I have regencies. <laughs> Independence factions. Oh, you're having a laugh. Have some money, and chill out. Just chill out, guys. 
But soon we will bring Neopopolis into the fray. My daughter and the Prince of Bavar Bavaria. Yeah, why not? I got like, yeah, millions of daughters and half of them aren't even married. Although they seem to be dying. Suspicious circumstances. Oh, damn you, Bavaria. Uh, period of illness. Period of illness. Poor health. <laughs> wow. Those daughters aren't doing well. Son, Demetrios, Arclite, Streaming did very well. well. Actually, no, he didn't. He was content, deceitful, and had basic stats. Oh. Huh. I can make so many kingdoms now, though. Ooh, has that guy died yet? No, he's not. But he does have heir to the Duchy of Colonia and heir to the Duchy of the County of. Dulcy. Excellent. Yes, that is exactly how I wanted that to pan out. I just need him to die now. <laughs> I could kill him, but we'll let it take its natural course, because that will fix all of that. And Neopolis. We'll give him some money, just to welcome him into the fray. Welcome to Byzantium. Gonna have to take a Malfi. So declare war de jure on a Malfi. We'll just drop straight in and just crush his troops. That means we've taken back a little bit of the territory that we lost uh, when we first started the game. Because we had those two independence factions that I just couldn't what the hell is this? Montefrenero. Oh yeah, he's actually, he wants this territory. Oh, no, 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 my friend. That's not how this works. This is my land. My niece would like to marry somebody. I'll find you somebody nice. Uh, <clears throat> there you go. Well, nice is a very broad term, but <laughs> there's a person and you're now married to him. Fabli Republic Trade Zones. We still don't have anything for Venice. Come on, Venice, sort your shit out. I feel... Oh, it's Malfi. He bought himself some troops. Too bad, it's too late. Bacon Destructor! Welcome to the chat. How you doing, man? Hope you're having a good day. Excellent. Uh, fabricated county of Cancer, present. Good. So now I have claims on that bit. Capua is what I want next. We'll have all the claims. And we'll just press all of our claims and uh, really annoy <laughs> our ally who's in prison. Middle France here. Mm, okay, okay. <laughs> you try to figure it out. So, where where do you think it's from, Bacon Destructor? Offer of peace, enforce demands, and now, oh, wait a minute! I want war with Benevito. All right. I, well, I knew this would happen, so. An underhanded rogue, seriously? As bad as me. Ugh. Yes, well done, I am from Ireland. <laughs> Chase him down, hit him with sticks until he till he's dead. But you, my friend, will have to convert 
because you're Catholic. And don't take kindly to that. How is Amalfi still a thing? So their troops are there, but I can't use them. He has... Oh, so he still owns that duchy, so that's why. Um... <laughs> ah, fe fellow Celt. Welcome to the channel, Bacon. I was actually playing a, um, a UK game a couple of days ago. Well, it's a game that I've still got on the go. I've just decided to do a couple of different ones as well. Rise of the Welsh Empire, because no one ever expects the Welsh. <laughs> And I managed to take all of Scotland. Defeated? Where am I getting defeated at? Oh, oh, you're sneaky. Send all the troops back up around here to destroy them. Chase him down. Ah, he's he's running running scared. Such a douche. Not allowed, Malfi. Malfi is mine. All of this is mine. We'll just take your territory instead. Allow the duel. Let them kill each other. It's fine. Yeah, I do I do like playing uh, from Ireland at the start because it's... Oh no, I died. Damn it. Oh, that's not good. That is bad. Um... Okay, so we're going to have some succession problems, and I'm in a war. Uh, and yeah, I was, as I was saying, uh, Bacon, that I normally like to start in Ireland, and just, it's a nice easy way to just get a lot of land very quickly when you start want to start as a, as a one-count territory and build your way up, and just have like a really big empire then. I thought that said America for a minute. <laughs> so, how is America in England? Pick a focus. What is my focus going to be? My focus is going to be hunting. Just like my father. <laughs> what, he just sent them over to Wales to get them out of the way? <laughs> I care little for you. You go over to Wales now. I, I want to have a son. What's this? Your wife has, has sent you... Oh, it's my wife that gave me the puppy this time. Oh, one diplomacy and one health. Excellent. I will call it Faithful, because my wife gave it to me. How am I getting so much minus? Support the blues. Always support the blues. Yes. How am I getting so much minus? That doesn't make any sense. What? Hold me, I think, guy prisoner? Yeah, although Wales can be quite a little powerhouse, because I've started, well, I started my Rise of the Welsh Empire in Wales, and you can actually do quite well starting off there if you're careful. You have to be very, very careful. Just saying that because I knew. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, take that land quickly, and then crush his troops. Not having him take Amalfi. I just won that. That is my little trade republic. 
Should I say my second little trade republic? But still, it's not the point. Do we have factions? Yes, we do! Independence. Not a chance, sunshine. Throw some money at them. And hopefully it all goes away. Alright, so I've taken that land, so now I need to run down here and kill his troops! Good dog. Good faithful. Catch those damn troops. So, 19th of December. 18th. Yes, I will catch them. Sucks to be you, dude. Sucks to be you. Your troops are now dead. When you have no troops to speak of, I will crush them. Or I'll crush you, even. He's off getting some friends from down there. I don't know. Lucky enough, my... Oh, wait, no. I don't have an alliance with Francia anymore. Oh. Religious differences. That could be interesting. Alright, we're back into being in positive war score. <laughs> Longest war for one territory ever. Alright, we need to get rid of that. I need another guy to live there. I'm gonna need more money for that. Percent Noble, Antheomus. Where is Antheomus? We will then marry you off to a good orthodox woman. Um, she's a zealot. She'll do. Peace be with you. Grant land a title. County of Malfi. Countryman is not involved in an ongoing war. Okay, okay, okay. We'll d we'll finish the war before we land him. Well, he's consolidated his little tiny army. Oh, bless. And I have more tech. I need more tech. I need legalism. Oh, great, we got an ortho Orthodox Uprising. Really? And where is it? Five that Well, that's quite a few, actually. <laughs> yeah, Bacon, I think that's the wrong game. Um, <clears throat> we can go as far as India. <laughs> China? China's like... Over, over here, we, we, it's not quite letting us get there. <laughs> but that would be that would be cool if you could take over China, like Japan, and get all like the the Oriental warriors because those guys were badass. Okay, so I will also re levy the Bulgarian guard, and that should give me enough troops to quash this little Orthodox rebellion. Well, my retinue does their job over here. Come on, guys. Form up. Am I in this? No, I'm not good. I <laughs> can't say I know that one. <laughs> Sorry, that, that reference just went right over my head. Uh, yes, I have taken it. And again, with the taking of Amalfi, seriously. Just stay down there with your tiny little army.
kill him. Just kill him with fire. I'll just trap him down there in Sicily. <laughs> I'll put my troops here. Oh yeah, this orthodox thing. We needed to fix that, didn't we? Yeah, it came from the one area in all of the empire that there's an orthodox heresy. Ugh. Don't they understand? This is for the good of the empire. They should fall in line. <clears throat> so do you play much CK2 yourself then, Bacon? Chase him down, kill him. <clears throat> we'll crush a major revolt. That always gives us an extra little bit of uh, love from the vassals. We'll make him like us a little bit as well, just for fun. There we go. Can we banish him? Yes, we can. Out of my lands, you foolish, foolish man. Get rid of those troops because we no longer require them. I love that Vagarian guard. So useful. I can't believe they're actually... Taking Amalfi with nine people. Having a laugh. <laughs> good, good God. Just stop it. I'm plunking my people there. Ah, see, I've never actually played Europa Universals. I've heard a lot of good things. And I've heard that you can... When you finish your game in CK2, you can port that game into Europa Universals and carry on the same sort of... Empire, for lack of a better expression. <clears throat> My uncle. Yeah, you're definitely not getting any land. you got terrible stats. Become temperate. Get some good stats. 17, though. It's not bad. Can't really argue with that. See, I'm the other way around. Now that I've started, <clears throat> I've played I've played almost 500 hours of CK2 now. It's crazy the amount of CK2 I've played. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm, maybe I should start getting Europa Universals as well. Let's see, is Challenge you to friendly game of Tice Canyon? In the Tice Canyon, Tuscanus Turian Stadium. God, there's way too many eyes in there. Him can trace back to the side of Persia. Features two teams as horsebacks. Of course, I will get the old team back together. Oh, that means I, I'm not truce locked with these guys now, though. So, okay, I got out a year early. Which is good. So, hopefully these guys will get into a really big war. Defending against the revolt. Okay. On a truce with that guy, so. Oh. Yeah, if I've heard right, Europe, uh, EU, because Europe Runner Styles is a mouthful every time you want to say it. EU4, it's very trade based as well. It's not as much taking land, is it? Or. Take the territory. That's quite interesting then. I'll definitely have to have a look at that. Because I play a lot of Paradox games, so... Uh... I'll have to get Europa. 
Because the new game that's coming out, The Pillars of Eternity, I'll definitely be getting that in March. I'll be doing a big uh, Twitch playthrough of that. Oh no, my brother! He's, he's in prison. Yeah, let's ransom that prison out. Poor guy. He got he got stuck with some awful, awful stats. No love for that guy. He's a zealot. We're not getting him a Catholic zealot. You can have her. You're going to be such an unhappy person. Man, religious conversion. So many Catholics, not enough Orthodox. Kill his troops, haha, <laughs> they got pincered. Gotcha. Oh, I'm 100% as well. Sweet. Okay, now I can give, what was his name? Anstra? Anstra something or other? Where'd he go? Artemis, that's the one. That's who we decided to land. So, Grant, County of Malfi. Excellent. Yeah, I can't take a Malfi. Why can I not take a Malfi? Um, uh, Sicily. Or... Salerno. Hmm. That's weird. Did they get any more clip? Oh, wait, no, damn it. Another peasant revolt, seriously? Where is this one? Sounds like a very in-depth game, then, for you four. Who's this guy? Bavaria. <laughs> no, I don't care about Bavaria now. They're too, they're too weak. They're a tiny little bit of territory that I would like to take. Am I leading it? Yes, I am. No, I will not be leading any troops here. Thank you very much. I would like to keep all my limbs in one place, attached to my body. I lost that claim. Weak claim on the duchy. Weak, 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 weak. Yeah, damn it. Because I died, I lost that claim. So we're going to have to start all over again. I don't think I can declare war. Oh, I can't put troops up anyway, so there's no point checking. I've got a dangerous faction now, do I? Crown authority, no chance. How are these guys so uppity? Guys, I'm winning any revolt that comes up against me. Are you sure you want to start a big faction that's going to result in you getting squashed and me taking your territories away from you? Just saying. You know, it might not be your smartest sort of decision at the moment. more money than probably all of them combined. I have more troops than all of them combined, I think, now. Um, see, I can get five plus the four plus the three, that's 12. Okay, so they can raise a little bit more troops than me, but my troops can be all consolidated straight away.
Better court chaplain. Woo! I need more cultural technology for the legalism. I can start making some kings then. Oh, things will be so much better when I can make king vassals. Oh, it's king viceroyalties. So they don't actually have any succeedable power. Oh, things will be good then. So I'm going to bring my troops back around because, well, there's nothing going on that I can do at the moment. I can't declare war because I need Cassus Belly. Because these guys are Catholic. Damn you for being Christian. I suppose I could go to war with Kazaria. Kazaria, are you powerful? Wow, you are not powerful at all. I could do your Smender. That might work. You're tangry, so. All attack. Since there's also Victoria 2, which is basically EU4 further ahead in time with the more complex mechanics in terms of reduction, government, and war. Is Victoria 2 a, a paradox game as well, or is that just a similar type of game? See, restore the Roman Empire. So I've got very little of that at the moment. I need to get more. And this guy, oh, they, he's done the kings. Yeah, he's got Middle Francia and Italy. So he's got two really big kings under him. So really speaking, what I need is Italy to break out, out of that. Oh, let's see. Once control of Lombardy, Latinum, Savoy, he's a zealot. <laughs> this guy hates me. Oh, that's good. So it sounds like, uh, Paradox, they've gone, you can start in CK2, you can move into EU4, and then finish up in Victoria 2. Just port your game from one to another to another. Fetch the eunuch. Care little for him, but anyway. Um, defending against the Umayyad revolt. It is 9% in the Umayyad's favor. So I may use this time to my advantage. But we'll have a save first, because anytime we poke the bear, that is the Umayyad or the Abbasidid Empire. It's always a good idea not to, to get too overcommitted and have a backup in case it goes terribly wrong and you can just go, right, save or it. But I don't normally like to do that. I, I'm not going to go to war, actually, no, not while I've still got this faction on the go, because that would be a terrible idea. If I went to war against something that can levy more troops than me and I lose half of my troops because of these guys. Who are you? You. Oh, nice. Could just load up some badass tanks, roll them up into my empire. Archelite the third. Oh, Archelite the second. No, I'm Archelite the second. This is Archelite the third. I want to have a daughter now. Actually, yeah, why not? It's like, come on guys, Derry, come on, look, try, try and kick off, try it. All you guys are going to lose your territory if you do that. You'll be killed. Should we kind of like trigger it, it's like, come on. Attract Vassalage, Grant Viceroy, no. Savoy, it's like Ferez, it's just, she's just chilling out because she can't have the duchy yet. She's being, she's being pissy. Yeah. <coughs> I can de jure that, and that, and that, and that, which is, well, that's part of Savoy. I thought Savoy was too duchy. <clears throat> so 
So how do I get these guys <clears throat> to either stop trying to do factional stuff or to kick off? Because it's stopping me from doing what I need to do. Income that plus thirty. That's better. <clears throat> oh, I look. I might have broken his li her little uh, faction there. Hundred gold. That guy's bad. So we've got a tiered country system. The strongest eight are great powers. You can sphere other nations and make colonies, and there are secondary powers, which the ninth to the sixteenth, which you can only colonize. Oh, that's quite cool. It's a very in-depth system then. All right, so I, I, I think I've broken the back of this uh, problem. <laughs> We're getting there. We're slowly breaking down their uh, their will to revolt with money. <laughs> My uncle? No, 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 no. He's not getting any land. So much money to get these guys to chill out, though. So I think I've got um, short reign. Yeah, minus six, imperial administration, medium crown authority. That's never going to change. That's a minus 30 that I'll always have. But I'm kind. Born in the purple, so they help. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of territory that aren't the proper religion. I need a good one. You will do because you'll increase. Is that faction still going on? Oh, look at that. She wants to be independent and she wants lower crown authority. So basically, she is just kicking off just for the fun of it. You know, I. Ah, oh, Dimitri, the second. Damn, didn't, kind of didn't want another son, but I'll I can I can live with it if I really have to. Send him a gift. I don't want her having any dukes. No, my uncle is not going to be a thing. Who's this guy? You? What a douche! Oh yeah, I forgot these guys are still all under me because I'm waiting for this guy to die. Oh, damn it! So now he gets it all. <sighs> Didn't need that. Oh well, to hell with it. It's a tiny faction now. There's not much they can do about me. So we'll save it up and we will go and poke the bear that is the Abbasidian Empire. Or Abbasid? Abbasidian? Well, we'll make sure they're still in a distracted war first. Uh, defending against the revolt against the... Yeah, cool. So, you, my friend. Holy War for... I could... Uh, Holy War Alexandria, that would be awesome. Antioch, um... Oh, see, look at that. Big piece of territory. Well, it's only four, actually. Where's the bit I want? That's the bit I want. Durbant. I want to have Durbant. Okay, so I will levy my troops first. So that's a good 10,000, no, 12,000. No, go away, Bavaria. Shoo. I'm in a war of my own. Actually, I think I'm gonna bring the Bulgarian guard with me in, in this push. That's an 11,000 man army, man. Magistros. Oh, wow. Yeah, he is a badass. Sorry, but you are much better. Fabricate some claims down there. Come on, 
guys. Hurry up. Form up. God, life. Took your time. Am I in this? Yes, I am. Stop making me lead troops. Okay. So that. <clears throat> we'll send my guys over here. Then we will jump up the rest of the troops as the backups. <clears throat> Which is always <clears throat> a pain to get them all in one place then. No, my luck. <laughs> He'll have like a 30,000 army that'll just pop up and go, surprise! I could really use those tanks that you mentioned, Bacon, because they would get there so much faster. Plus, tanks. Majority of Amalfi is reconverted back to Orthodox. Excellent. Let's see then. How are the troops looking? So we've got 12 over there. Another probably 12 here. All the conversion. So how's it? Oh yeah, tanks in in the year eight thirty six. That would just be badass. It's like, oh, you, you, you have a, a large curved sword, do you? Meet my friend, <laughs> the Sherman tank. Taking their time forming up. Okay. So now that army is there, we will bring them over here, keep them in reserve. Just in case a really big scary army appears. They've got four five thousand around there, which is okay. And they in theory, they can take all that territory, but because I own, or I'll have taken the land I'm at warring for, there's the scary army. Come on, boys. You need to back up your friends. <laughs> yeah. It's not even that I would need tanks, as in plural. One tank. That's all we need. Because even if they got up close to it, it's not like they could stop it. They would just, they'd well, be hitting it a little bit, and then you'd just like run over and squish them. <laughs> Ooh. 
Whoa, stop, stop, stop. Stay still, because he's attacking you. Let him attack. Unlucky, mate. <laughs> My military organization is better than yours. Yes, I still want to find the white stag, damn it. I need a better spy master. Oh no! He found my spy master! No! He was good at getting tech. He was good peoples. We liked him. Not an army down there. I really should do something about that. Go away, pop-ups. I have stuff that to do. Flatter and soothe him. This is not the time for shenanigans like that. Hey, Felosby, good to see you, man. How are you doing? an epic hunt. Maybe this time we will find the elusive white stag that seems to exist across the entire world as long as you take the hunter trait. No, don't get stressed. Please don't get stressed. I need my son to not, you know, be dead. <laughs> and have a chance of becoming a decent heir. Just saying. So we're 44%, even though there's a tiny little African army trying to destroy Sicily. We should hopefully be able to counteract that with the territories that we take up here. Hello. Hmm. Should have known that guy would be a douche. Yeah, he's trying to loop round. Take out my small army. Quick, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. sit here and take this land instead. Oh, I feel your pain, Felosby. I've got a bit of a bad one as well. I can, do you know when you just can feel it starting to build and you're just like, ah, oh, damn it. So load up on all the, uh, the cough and flu and sickness tablets that you can find. Where are you going? Can I chase down this guy's army before it gets too big? Potentially, yes. Okay. 
I got 10,000, 9,000 more men than him. I should be able to win this fight. Yeah. Even though he is getting the benefit of a river crossing. Kill him, kill him. Drop him. Yes, I broke, it, broke both of his flanks. We shall name it after the original Cortana. We like Cortana. She's good peoples. Accept the challenge. This isn't over. You have won. And I have not. Sounds like you're living on soup for quite a while then, for those being. Oh, did this guy bring his army from over there? No, it's only 2,000. Damn, this guy's supply limit has gone down a lot. Kill him. The one plus side about being off uh, sick for those be though, is you can chill out and watch Twitch all day. Oh, for those be, where, where's my spaghetti? Do you know? Could have offered. I, I, I would have had some spaghetti. What's he doing? This guy is so annoying. The little African troops. So you can get away from November. Ah, oh, no. He's getting away from me. I don't want little couple of thousand man armies running around. <clears throat> I find that <clears throat> a very convenient sickness then, Philosby. So you're sick yesterday, you're sick today, and then you're on holiday t from tomorrow. Did did you do that just so you would have a longer holiday? It's okay, you, you, can, you can tell me. Okay, he has no more useful troops, so that is good. Mmm, leftover spaghetti. I'm getting hungry myself now. It's like, mmm. Oh, and the, this guy's faction is back now. Damn it. You off? Yeah. Have fun. I'll catch you later. So we definitely need to win this war before those factions decide that they're actually going to pop and cause a problem because my army will go from like 15,000 to like 7. But we will have successfully got all of Georgia back from those heathens. We don't have any troops left at all. They're bringing, they're bringing the reinforcements. Oh, they've actually got a thousand men. Okay. Well done them for levying that many troops. Okay. I didn't think they had anything left. Screw it. Let them run around. We've got a lot of money, so if push comes to shove, we can get a lot of mercs in.
Ah, so you couldn't afford to actually take time off, in the, but you had to? No, that's... Sorry to hear that, Felosby. That's harsh, man. I'm I'm in the same boat. My uh, my girlfriend uh, Gemma there. She just went to work. Uh, she's not feeling very well, and I think she's given me whatever the hell that she's caught. So now it's like, oh, I feel rough. By the time Valentine's Day comes round, we'll, we'll both just be passed out on the sofa, just going, "Kill me now, please." <laughs> Mikey Seven, thank you for the follow. Much love in your direction, man. Hope you're having fun. managed to get 5,000 men. Well done. Now crush him. More sons? Are you kidding me? Marcus Aurelius. Oh. Oh, he's got a hair lip. Marcus Aurelius never had a hair lip. This was not in the histories. I got a lot of prisoners in that one. Uh, diligent. I want him to be diligent. There we go. Diligent. Hey, no. You're not the heir. You're Dimitri. Damn it. Thanks, Mikey. Have you played much Crusader Kings 2 yourself? Or is this the first time you're having a look at it? of all his troops. And we'll send mine back up here. Ah, so on the at least the plus side that you did you get out of having to babysit? You know? Silver lining, maybe? I've got nine percent left to take back the, the territory of Georgia from the ever-growing Abyssinian Empire. <laughs> They're just taking everything. Yeah, it is very much like an interactive risk in a way, only with a lot more going on. It's not just you know, take this territory, dice roll, I won, I lost. You've got all of the intrigues, you've got to get claims, you've got to have a valid reason to go to war. Um, you know, if you're, if you're fighting against somebody of a different religion, then you can holy war them. But if you holy war them, then all of their same religion people that are around them can come and help them out and kill you. So you've got to be very careful with holy wars. Educate your children so they become your heirs, so they are not turn they're not complete morons. Ah, uh, that's harsh, fellows B. My missus, she lives with me, so even though she's ill, and even if I'm ill, I don't I don't miss a night with her. I can still sort of die on the sofa with her. <laughs> Saddle the horse. Find the white stag! And see, whoa, that are, they have got a lot of troops. How have they got that many troops? 24,000. I can't even levy that many whenever I'm using them. We definitely need to win this war fast. Raised levies, that's why everyone hates me. I've, I've had their levies raised for so long. You've saddled your horse. This time it will not escape me. Yeah, Mikey, the religious aspect of it, it throws a, a completely different spin on... Oh, what's this? Um, 
I would say it throws a completely different spin on the wars. It's not just stab him, kill him, here's a big army, I win. You gotta have good generals as well, or you'll lose, even if you've got more troops. And yeah, the, just the pylon religious war, it can get messy real fast. So, you scout in the country south, bro, you come upon a lone rider, you strike up a conversation, it turns out he also hunts this crazy and great animal you're after. Join me at my court, and we shall fight this together. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you, Philosby. I, I wasn't living with my missus at 16 either. <laughs> Come on, take the territory. 100% war score. Offer demands. My territory. Haha. -ha. I have won. All is good. I can usurp the territory of that. Get some new vassals that are good, honest, orthodox. Wow, oh, these guys are not happy. I think I'm going to have to stay away from using my vassals uh, for war for a while. So that <laughs> ticks back down. Minus 29 on everybody's vassals. That is a big hate. So I can usurp that territory. And my wife is pregnant again. Apparently I can't keep it in my pants. Because popping out children is like nobody's business. Ah, uh, don't worry Bacon. Plenty of time for that sort of stuff. Hang on, is he on his own for that crown authority thing? Oh wait, hang on a minute. I will not be blackmailed. Crap sticks. Um, levy my troops. Levy the Vagarian Guard. We've had a big revolt, guys. It's not good. People are kicking off. We will destroy them for the good of the Empire. Yes! Uh, internal wars like that, I don't care. As long as you stay within your own duchy. I will destroy these people for ever entertaining the idea of rising up against me. Ah, don't worry, Bacon. There's uh, there's plenty out there. Plenty. Kill these troops. Ah, oh, 1,500 men. I think I shall kill you. Find my brother someone nice. Um, yeah, she'll do. There you go. <laughs> well done, Philosby. I don't lose that war. Okay, we're good, we're good. <clears throat> My son, he needs to be educated. I will educate him. While we... I will teach him the ways of crushing his opponents under his foot. Ah, 
so uh, where's everybody from then? Uh, Philosby, if you're from Belgium if I remember, right? So Bacon and Mikey, where are you from, guys? Another son? Are you kidding me? I don't need any more sons! Uh, I wish I called him James. But I never name anybody James. And he's sickly. Maybe he will die. So much death. Oh, no, 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 no. He's got a big army there. We need to run away from that army. Oh, I need to get married. My wife died. Pneumonia. Pneumonia? Ew, pew. That looks like a decent... Waif? Ah, nice one, Mikey. I haven't quite got there yet. I, I, will, I will slowly get to, to South Germany and I will I will capture your hometown. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere all up in here. <laughs> Come on, catch this guy. Come on. Save him. Don't let us lose those troops. Go. Yes. Is that a bad thing though, Bacon? Surely then that would, if they know you, that would that be work to your advantage for your uni interview? Stuttgart. I can't say I know where that is, so maybe I'm just going to say it's here. It's probably not. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a bit weird because you know the person, but at the same time, it could be whenever because if, if they say something like, "Oh well, how have you done?" You know, give me an example of something. Then at least you could maybe pull on something that you've used from that person's class, and they'll know that, you, that you're actually telling the truth, especially if it's something really good. How did this guy? Oh, this guy decided to get. Damn you, becoming independent while this faction was going on. Nobody else better not have done that. <laughs> okay, we're okay. We're okay, guys. No, I don't want to make a move on my courtiers. They're on 73%. We've crushed their little armies. Oh, wait, no, there's still an army there. Huh. We'll take this piece of territory. Actually, no. We can get away with splitting the army. And bringing half of it over here to crush those. Crush them! We do not tolerate this kind of thing in my empire. I am from Ireland, uh, Mikey, up uh, this neck of the woods, but I am currently living in Wales. <clears throat> there we go, chase them all down. So, that guy revolted, that guy revolted, the islands revolted, a couple of people in here revolted, this guy was smart about it. And didn't revolt. Didn't have another son though, that's a pain.
Or does it pop up so we don't care about those? What? Peasant revolt? Where is this peasant revolt? Um. Derp? Um. Ah, uh, yeah, Ireland, it is a nice place to live, I will admit. Well, nice place to visit. Living, there's not much going on in Ireland at the moment, sadly, which is why I'm no longer there. I'm really un confused as to... Ah, there's the peasant revolt. Pesky peasants. What are you doing? There we go, 100%. We have crushed the revolt. All these people are in prison. And we shall revoke their titles and give them to other people. After I fix this problem of a peasant revolt. We'll do some housekeeping. We need more lemon flesh. Do we have any factions? No, everyone's just decided. Whoa, this guy just whooped everybody's ass. Not going to have a faction against him. You know, I was actually thinking the same thing, Nognix. I had a peasant revolt, and I didn't see you in chat. I thought, I sense a disturbance in the force. And welcome, how, how you doing, Nognix? Temperate, yes. We like temperate. Temperate is a good trait. Gives you lots of st stewardship. Mmm, stewardship. Chase down those pesky, pesky peasants. So, uh, I'll not start revoking titles until I've fixed the land and I'll just work from one side to the other. Getting rid of all of the people that ever thought they could revolt against me. Or crush them. Oh, come seriously. Catch them! I don't want to chase 800 men across the breadth of <laughs> the Roman Empire. Catch- Oh, for God! Seriously! I'm not playing ring around the territories. And Mikey, no. I, I don't believe in unions. I believe in, I am the Emperor and you'll do what you're damn told! <laughs> Finally, I caught him! That was frustrating. Oh, what? Why did my... My levies had to... Damn it. <laughs> okay, so... We will now save the game, because after we've had a big war, a big revolt, we're cool, <laughs> so we can chill. Now we need to do some housekeeping, because we had some people that were not cool. So the Duchy of Cardi, this guy, I shall, oh, wrong button. I shall revoke your title, because you are a douche of the highest order. So, you know. You have son, and you're good. Strong claim on country ta. Grant that a title. We have a new duke, and he is good. Um, a murder. You are kind of a douche. You're down there, so I'm not going to give you anything. You 
can keep your duchy. Because it would be more hassle than it's worth to take it away from you. So Trebolos. Revoke title. Duchy of Trebolos. And I will give it to... This guy. Okay, now... These guys were cool. Aha. This duchy. This was one of the ones that revolted. So you, my friend, will lose your duchy. And I will give it... Not to him. I'll give it to him. He's a weak claim, but it's cool. It's cool. Duchy of Chanazin. Excellent. Aha. An Anatonia. You will lose your title. And we will give it to this guy. Do we have any other duchies that people were douche? Aha, this guy. The Aegean Islands. So you shall lose your title. And oh, I'm trying to find these island things are a pain. The Aegeans. You have a son. You are part of the Aegean, aren't you? Yeah. Grant landed title, Duchy of the Aegean Islands. Now, where else did we have people kicking off? Aha! So I appreciate, guys, that the housekeeping side is a little boring, but it'll only take a moment while I fix all of these problems. And then we will go back to destroying our enemies. Even though this is technically destroying our enemies. This guy, he's cool. We like this guy. Grant landed title, Duchy of Monusia. Now, do I have anybody left in my jail that are dukes? Oh, that guy. That guy's harsh. We let him out. Because they're not actually part of my court. And they're expensive to ransom. Ah, oh, yes, this guy. Now, you should be orthodox. You are good. Now, you're orthodox. Aha, yes, we do have someone in order. Yes. I was getting worried about that one because this is quite an important bit to, re re to mend the schism. We didn't have an Orthodox guy there because the heir was Catholic. But now, now that is fixed. And you, you're good. We like you. So you can have Rome. Perez, yeah, you're a douche. But you're a count, so I don't really care about you. Um, you're cool. You were cool. You were cool. It was cool. It was cool. There wasn't much revolting from this. Aha, Raska. Revoke title. D oh, hang on. Moninia. And Raska. Oh, he's got two. Damn you. Well, you're a pain, aren't you? Hmm. Oh, this is just going to be frustrating. Grant land a title. Duchy of Raska. Weakest duke I have. I think that's everything, guys. No more dukes that need to be... Oh. Raska. Can I give it to that guy? I don't think I can rogue anything more from him though. No, I can't. So, we have everybody out of jail. 
Virginia. Yep. So we're okay. So we can now move away from the housekeeping side of things. Start doing war again. Finding out what direction we're going to go. Let's see now. Can we ransom people? Yes, we can. We will get all the gold for these ransoms. Insert the title of that, which is good. So we'll move the troops up here because we'll go to war with this guy to take the last piece of territory for Georgia. No, I'm not releasing you. I'm ransoming you. I'll have all the money. So nobody is going to kick off with me because I can just buy pretty much every merc in existence <laughs> for, for the Orthodox. Don't know if we got any holy orders, actually. No, we don't. That's frustrating. There's no Orthodox holy orders. Considering I'm going to be doing a lot of holy wars, it'd be nice to have some holy, or holy orders to work with. But I guess beggars can't be choosers. I've got enough of my own uh, to, to work with. I still don't have a claim on any of that. That guy's good. That guy's very good. Sorry, mate. Okay, so... Bit of research, bit of stealing, some taxes, and we're good to go. So the next war will be for that area, while we try to get some claims in France. I can't believe we're not getting any claims in France. So I might, I'll move them over to Salerno, because if I can get Salerno, the Duchy of Salerno, we can rebuild the Malfi as a trade republic, because I can give him the duchy of it then. Because Genoa is just going to town. It is the only trade republic here at the moment, because Venice is still struggling to rebuild. And Amalfi isn't even a trade republic at the moment. And we'll usurp that in a bit. Kingdom, duchy I'm not making. Kingdom, 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 kingdom. There we go, yeah, I'm not making the kingdoms yet. I can't get this. I'm halfway to getting that. When we can get enough legalism to make voice vice royalty kingdoms, then things will be good. I will not allow it to escape. Military, can I get... Oh, hang on here a minute. So that costs 900 retinue and it's only 50 heavy. One, two, three. Uh, that's a shame. Increase, increase the retinue a little bit, though. That's good. Humble. So I need another. Yeah, a couple of more. That'll be good, though. I'll have 500 heavy. And. 400 archer. Nice. Start putting these specials to good use. Good use? Good use. No, I don't want my children to be cynical. It's, I need them to have piety. Piety is the one thing I'm struggling on. I've got like plus 14 gold. At, well, that's prestige. Whoops. 36 gold a month, so I'm good with the money. Although, let's be honest, you can never have too much money. Yes, diligent. Two of the... Uh, that is That deserves a save in itself. Considering my heir has got another good stat. Uh, so what are you all got? What are you guys all up to? You uh, playing some CK2 yourself? Or are you just uh, chilling out and watching the empire being created? 
Yes. Uh, the claim of the country is 400 gold for a claim these days. It's hard going. Just because I have money doesn't mean I want to spend it all. I miss the days of whenever claims cost 100 gold. Ooh, what's this? Meanwhile in the Imperial Palace. Enjoying a late supper in the Great Palace in Constantinople, sampling some new wines brought in from the Providence, when the sound of distant explosion is heard. Windows shatter and the chandelier above blinks to sway with shockwave of seconds later. Dust trickles down from the roof, and you just may some of it lands in your wine. Not my wine! You hurry to the balcony overlooking the city, and you see an intense fire burning in one of the warehouses by the docks. Nearby water in the Golden Horn is also ablaze. Uh, the fire has already spread to several ships. In the busy inlet, while their crews are in the process of abandoning them, the harbour areas rock with flurry of smaller explosions. This must be investigated. Somebody is attacking. Oh, God, that was quick. The next day after the fire had finally burned out, you inspect the ruins of the warehouse with your bodyguard. You learn from your visor that this building is housed a primary stockpile of liquid fire. Oh my God, it's Game of Thrones! <laughs> or Greek fire, is commonly referred to outside of the Empire. Uh, so for liquid can set water aflame, delivered to Constantinople from more than one siege. Damage done to the warehouse and harbour is at least you're concerned who are. No trace remains of the liquid's formula. Oh, closely guarded Byzantine state secret secret since the 7th century. Or the alchemists who were working in the warehouse. Well, then the formula supply of liquid fire has been cut off. That is not good. Liquid fire is ours. We must re reclaim the liquid fire. First, we will go to war, because war is always fun. Okay, this guy. Do you have any troops? Oh, you got 7,000 troops, so that's, uh, that's not too bad. I'll go to war with you. Declare war. Holy war for... Durbant. Take all of the land. So what we might do, because these guys are cutting out just through Kazaria, but thankfully the bottom half of the empire is like this is still fractured, so it's only this big chunk. And this land doesn't exactly give much troops. Because I do not want them getting too powerful. Ah, nice one, Bacon. So I'm guessing that's what you're going to university for, is become an architect? I was always a lover of architecture, I must admit. A real soft spot for, like, sleek, modern-looking houses. What's this? Pirates sighted the strange reports of surface of a pirate fleet in the Black Sea. If witnesses are to be believed, the pirates burn those who will not surrender with sea fire. Ah, stealing my trademarked fire. Speaking from prowess of the galleys, could this be the pirates of somebody who the formula for liquid fire? If this critical weapon is enters widespread use by the enemies of the Empire, we'll use, lose a decisive edge. As the Doge is made up, dispatch naval forces, alert. Hmm. Seek and capture the brigands. Your spy master suggests an alternative plan. However, spies will be planted in every major port around the whole sea until they manage to infiltrate the pirates' gang and uncover the secret of their hideout. Yes, the spies. Because I'm not losing my entire fleet fighting on the water when I can send the spies to find out where they're harbored. How many troops can Francia levy? Twelve. Oh, what's this word for God? This is a quick one. This is news arrived from the Black Sea. One of your spies successfully in infiltrating the pirate fleet spent the past month as an oarsman in one of their galleys. Information about the origin of their miraculous sea fire was apparently restricted to the ranking officers, and they never did manage to learn the location of their hideout. Oh, well, you're useful, aren't you? The good news, however, is he brought a prisoner with him when he escaped from the fleet. A woman named Eleni. Your spies tells you this old hag has quite the temperament. She claims to be the wife of the pirate king himself, named my name Krilios. If that is true, you may have gained a hostage worth her weight in gold. Treat her well. Look after her, because she is my bargaining chip. Wow, 2%, that's all I got for taking that territory. Uh, okay, this is going to be a long war. 
I got more ter more taken territory from the Muslim Empire than from the Tangries. We are talk hmm. Do I release him? Yeah, I'll let him out. Why not? Aha, the letter. The letter was found this morning, nailed to the doors of the great palace. It appears to have been written in blood. Little dramatic. Just saying. Ink would have done just fine. Um, it reads, Enough games, Belias. I am the possession of something you want, and you must realise by now it cannot be seized by force of arms. I will approach a trade. On the back of the letter you find a map. No, I will not backstab the man. I will... Honourable trade! I see you brought my wife. If you think you can barter with her, you will be disappointed, but I will lower the ransom by one third if you promise to keep her. She objects loudly, but the pirate is a frail man holding a school force. You grudgingly provide the ransom. With the deal concluded, you take... <laughs> uh, you confirm the old man is indeed one of the missing alchemists. The formula he brought also seems quite genuine. While the pain you do... Give out the demands of criminals. You could not see an alternative way of solving this matter. Secretly, fires have returned to the Empire. Is there any great cost? I don't think it was a great cost. It was 100 gold and 50 prestige. That's. Aha! Ooh. 700 gold! Are you kidding me? That's 1,000 gold for a claim on two territories. I owned half of Ireland with that amount of money whenever I played an Ireland game. Sadly, we're already in war. So we need to finish this war before we go and poke Francia. Because they are not going to be happy. And they're slowly levying back up. From fossils from demise. Oh, no, no, that is their maximum. Alright, guys. Be just a moment. Just going to grab a drink. get back to stealing territory one piece at a time should I get levy oh hang on yes I'm going to levy the Vagarian guard because he has 4,000 men over there Hey, Nick Lore one welcome to the chat. How you doing, man? And yes, Francia is led by a young female. Her name is Kaiserin Stefania Francia, daughter of Charles of Francia, who was Sickland, Carl, Emperor. Yeah, so it is currently run, run by, a, by a woman who has a female heir. She is ambitious, however, and has some seriously good war stats so she can get the money to have war and she's got the the uh, marshal that's the word i was looking for to have the troops to go to war i still can't find this white stag it is killing me become charitable yes oh no he's proud actually no proud's not too bad more prestige we can live with proud. Mm. 
Oh, I'm getting the backup troops over here. Hello. By the time I take that, they should be in there trying to think he can take that territory back. And I will crush him. Just in time. Hey, Overcast Sky. How are you doing? And it happened very early game. Um, it was back... Uh, oh, trying to even remember now. Um, France merged very, very early in this game. Uh, one guy owned Middle East and West Francia. And then they took Italy, which is a real pain because I want Italy. I was really hoping they weren't going to do that. And then... I went and did some stuff over here, came back and noticed they'd gone from being middle Francia, with one guy owning like eight kingdoms, to the empire of Francia. So, they made the Francian empire, I was, I thought they were going to become the Holy Roman Empire if I'm honest. I called it in one of my previous streams, which will be uploaded to YouTube later this evening. Um, everyone thought it was going to be the Holy Roman Empire. We even started calling it the de facto Holy Roman Empire. Excellent. Actually getting some war score with killing his troops. Where did that 4,000 men go? He had 4,000 men over here. I'll just use the Vagarian Guard to take some territory instead. Destroy all of his troops. What I might do is take these bits of lands off him next when I'm out of truce lock. Simply because that way I'll own pretty much the entire sea. So need these wee bits around here then. What's that, Nick Lore? Uh, given the f uh, female rule of female heir succession shenanigans. Good word. Good use of the word shenanigans. Yes. Could emerge at the hand of a certain Byzantine ruler that would lead to United Byzantine Francia Empire. Yes, I like how you think, uh, Nick Lore. I am all for that. Wonder if we can. Hmm. Age three. And age 11. So yeah, I, I would marry the uh, my heir to the heir of Francia. That, that could work. Knowing my luck though, I'll marry her. And just before anything good happens, she'll pop out a son. I'll be like, no! Overcast Sky, thank you for the follow. Much love in your direction. And that made me jump. <laughs> My sound's up too high. I was like, what's over here? Ah, follow. Let's see. Lombardi has usurped titles. Of course he has. Oh, I died again? No, my wife died again. Damn it. Nicklor1, thank you for the follow. Much love. Hope you're having a good time. If he died, that would be brilliant. Bacon Destructor! It's a follow train! I need to get a, like, a little thing at the bottom of my screen that has a follow train or something. <laughs> All right, I need to find a wife that gives me more stewardship again. Ah, you'll do. Oh, no, you're of my line. You will not do. <laughs> no, I'm not having any inbred... Ch well, I've got enough children, but... No. No, that would not be cool. I am not Jamie Lannister. Find him someone nice. My uncle. Oh, my uncle wants somebody. Oh. Uh, yeah, you'll do. 
Find him a nice diplomatic wife. So we'll get rid... Oh, request divorce. No, nope. demand religious education. Oh, Nick Lore, thank you for the host, man. Much appreciated. There we go. We've killed all his troops. We're almost halfway there to taking the territory. Cannot believe this guy is taking so much effort to take one piece of territory. It's only one. I took two pieces off the, the great Abbasid Empire and this, the war went faster. And we were talking with like, working with 20,000 troops apiece. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. You're quite important. Oh, she's a carling. Huh. Ah, the carlings. Pretty much means that there's going to be all the stabbiness going on in her court if she's a carling. Ah, he, he's actually found himself some troops. Gonna bring my troops up here. We found his army. Now we will chase it down. Is that Nick Lore? We had a funny situation where for the latter half of the rule of one of the Abbasid Kefils had a total army strength of 3,000. Oof. I've never been able to get along with playing um, with the uh, the Muslim mechanics, with the decadence. Or like that being said, I haven't played uh, the Muslim game in a while, uh, but I could never, I could never get to grips with it, having to have so many sons. Oh, I, I get frustrated when I have this many sons. There's all kinds of stabbiness going on over here. Where are you going? Where are you going? My brother, would you perhaps go to the church? I could really go for a, a weak Abyssinian Empire, though. Because they're sunny now. Yeah, although I think they've been sunny for a while. And this, like, if they get stuck in a war and I can just steal loads of territory. <laughs> ah, nice one. I've, I've never gone biggest dynasty. Um in terms of like family size I've normally gone how much territory what was the biggest empire I can build and how I can go about that overcast sky a Zunist game what is a Zunist game is that a religion my son oh this is the sickly child Third in the line of succession. Poor child. Let's see, title. Find a title. Zunist. Huh. Where is where is Zunist? Yes, maybe this time we will find the white stag. Oh, what? Huh? 
The second libertation of Brittany on Kaiser Sensia Francia? During the hunt, you come into Deep Gorge right on the other side is the White Stag! Yes! You're so close, yet cannot reach it. As it runs away, you realize that you must return home without victory this time. Now I know my purpose in life. Hunter, martial diplomacy. Nice. I, I At least I've seen the White Stag. Ah, Unreformed Pagan. I had a little Pagan game um, not long ago. It's before I started the Roman reunification game that I'm currently playing. I caused it um, Hail to the Aztecs, where... I made Ireland an Aztec ruler and thought how far I could get. I managed to take all of Ireland, a big chunk of Scotland, and then it all fell apart. And I mean of the most epic proportions it fell apart. I, I think I rage quitted and started playing Darkest Dungeon for a while after the ninth uh, Catholic revolt. I was just like, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, what? No! What does he holy warn me for? Abbasid invasion! Oh, you're kidding me. You're actually kidding me here right now. Ugh. Okay, guys, this is going to be interesting. This is, like, going to be a mad rush, because I'm already in a war, and he's being a douche. Yeah, Nick Lore. Trying different religions is fun. That's why I decided to go Iconoclast Orthodox for this game, which I've made it now the predominant religion, and it is it is a reformed religion anyway. I struggle playing uh, unreformed religions. I really, really struggle. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is very, 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 very bad. I really hope don't have time to educate children right now. I have a war. But my son should be ambitious, yes. What's this? Please accept my offer to join your... Yes! Join the war and help me! I've noticed that uh, overcast, I must admit, I was kind of hoping for some fun stuff because I haven't played Orthodox in a long, long time. And yeah, it, it's, it's got very little going for it. Forming the Reloot, what I want to do is because being Orthodox and Byzantine has two big things that you can do. One is restore the, home, the Roman Empire. Actually, I'm pausing that while I talk about this. Uh, so pause the Roman Empire, you have to own all of those duchies, uh, which is some of them have got, but the vast majority of them are in Muslim-controlled Abyssinia or France-controlled Francia or Italy. So that's going to be hard. Next, we have to mend the Great Schism. So it's reunifying uh, the Christianity. So I have to have an Orthodox Pentarch or Patriarch in each of the four major areas. And then you get a big pop-up. And I don't think I've ever done it before. So I want to see what happens. Uh, Nicola, I was playing a game as the Navarre's Empire. A while ago, uh, following the succession rise of Zirki and the fall of Sunni, the Byzantine Empire somehow managed to convert over to Zik. Really? The Byzantines were. Z <laughs> that is def definitely different. Come on, let me end this war. I've got eight, nearly 8,000 troops committed somewhere that I don't need them to be. Sixteen thousand men. I am not leading those troops. No chance, even if I do have decent marshal. Oh, 
to balance them. So I need, ah, 100%. Yes, offer peace. I don't even care that my demise is too big. Hello, if I could get maybe some Muslims out of my jail, get some more gold. That is great. 70 gold, 74 gold. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful people with all of your high, high ransoms. And then I will invite a noble whose name is Ralphie. Where's Ralphie? Find your orthodox wife. Go. And you get these guys down here. Because they've managed to levy up a decent amount of troops. Uh, no, I haven't uh, arranged a betrothal yet. I probably should. Um. Range betrothal. Nope, she won't do it. She'll only do it matrilineal. And there's not a chance that's gonna happen. So many pop-ups for the ransoms. Oh, how am I losing troops in my own territory? Are you kidding me? God, they've only got a supply limit of 10? Seriously? that guy marry? Was it Antheos or something, wasn't it? Where'd he go? Oh, that was Ralphie, wasn't it? Steal this territory. Ah, oh, damn it. Why did I steal that territory? Oh, cool. He's Doge Manuel is. How did, how did he do that? How did he make the Duchy of Amalfi? Okay. Oh, the seduction focus goes, you just, everything goes crazy with the seduction focus. You have so many children, it's, it's just insane. I'm determined to catch the white stag. That's why I don't want to lose the hunter trait or the hunter focus. Because I really want to catch the white stag. And that is 14,000 men. And that's going to be 20,000 men. Crap.
Where are they going? Where are they going? Come on, land in my territory. Land in my territory. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. And crash into the back of him. Lose so many troops to attrition, but I'll split the army once that's done. Crush that army. Crush that army. Crush them all. Have you guys ever tried to play the uh, an India game? So many pop-ups. <laughs> gonna crush this guy. I was the same Nicklor. I tried it, but I I never got anywhere. Like I started on the wee island and I, I managed to take up the most of the coast, but I didn't enjoy it, so I haven't played one since. Maybe I should do it on stream. Maybe it won't be it would be more fun. Alright then, so we've crushed his army. Let's me cultural advances. Damn right, I need more culture. I'm thinking the Abyssidians regret their decisions in kicking off with me. Oh, have you not got a uh, way of life yet, Necklor? Oh, I oversaved on the Aztec game by accident. Whoops. Well, I was never going to go back to that Aztec game anyway. That was just terrible, that game. What? Lollard? Francia? Oh, wait, no. That's because I get pop-ups of that because I have stuff in Francia. That's okay. Yeah, that's true. Do you know, with the both of those DLCs combined, yeah, it could be a little bit more interesting. So we've got some backup trips just in case. Me have a site. Oh, cool. There's a heresy that's Oh, that's interesting. So, oh, the monophysites, so they're down there. Cool. Hey, the Zunists! Overcast! Or, <laughs> we find the Zunists you were talking about. And that's just a m Hindus and Janis and Buddhists all mixed into one. You, my friend, have made errors in judgment. Significant errors in judgment. So much pop up, pop ups. Shut up, you with your pop ups. Just let me win a war. Do you want to go to war? Do I want to go to war with her? Fourteen thousand men to take. Strong claim on Salerno. Strong claim on Tirano. So I'll take those two territories. Still haven't got a claim on this guy yet, though. I'll be quite happy if I manage to get a claim there and just press it for these three. That'd be quite good. Whoa! Whoa! I got distracted and made a mistake. Crap. 
That's what happens when I get distracted. Getting the hell out of that territory. Damn it. Leave, for God's sake. Get out. Things were not are not going to plan all of a sudden. We will ha hire four thousand five hundred more men. Get an 11th, 16th, damn it. Get rid of these. Oh, wait, hang on. Armenian Liberation Revolt. These aren't the Muslims. I was getting all worried for a second there. Whew. <laughs> I don't have to fight them. I can get rid of those guys. Oh, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Wasted so much money hiring those troops I didn't even need. Yeah, we'll we'll just pretend that didn't happen, guys. Let's let us never speak of it again. <laughs> That is good. He's going to be destabilized massively then, because if he's lost a war to me, and he's got a monophysite and an Armenian liberate. Oh, yes. Armenian liberation would be excellent. Because I can then go to war to take these guys. Yeah, I am not weakening those Armenians in the slightest. Because Armenia is the last piece of territory that Abyssinia owns that I need. Hmm. Everything is starting to look good, guys. Oh. Split that army. Don't want to lose any more troops. Luckily, I don't get any annoyed vassals for being in a holy war. That's the one positive. Yes, go, go, little Armenians. Take the territory, and the Meophysites, if they take some territory, because that looks like they're taking Antioch. Let's see. Yes. Oh, that would be amazing if the Meophysites took Antioch and the Armenians liberated Armenia. I would be able to take so much territory in the east. Offer peace. I gain, whoa, 1,200, nearly 1,300 gold for him having a bad idea about going to war with me. <laughs> that will do nicely, I think. Let's see. Anano Emperor's recent victory would be appropriate. What did I... What was I victorious about? Oh, I think that's because of that Amalfi thing. He made that territory. Or was it because of this thing? I think maybe it was this one. Either way, it's a victory. Hail Caesar! So we got some there. The retinues will be disbanded. Excellent. 
So now <laughs> we can do a little bit of housekeeping again. Because uh, we need to give away these two pieces of territory. So, firstly, let's look at the prison. Because we got way too many prisoners. So if you can ransom yourself, you get to leave prison. 145 gold, you definitely can leave prison. 10 gold, 70 gold, 10 gold, yep, you're staying in prison. Then we need a new noble. Oh, it does it overcast, that's good. The empire, glory to the empire. Papa Crow, how are you doing, man? Welcome to the chat. Um, Flotius is the guy that we're going to land. Oh, that guy can't... Sultan of Egypt can't afford to get himself out of prison. There he is, Flotius. Oh, he's a schemer. Shifty, shifty. Uh, where are the Orthodox women? There you go. <laughs> Everyone is now buying themselves out of prison. Good. Albana. Go. And then one for Durbant. Who are you, who's gonna lead Durbant? Lucas. Lucas, where are you, Lucas? Lucas. Oh, he's a genius. Oh, I'd love to have that on my line. Uh oh, no, I'm not imprisoning him. Uh let's see, Orthodox. Here we go. Get him a nice orthodox woman. Uh, there you go. Attractive. No, I don't want to have a claim on Tao. There we go. She'll do nicely. <laughs> People still buying their way out of prison. Maybe this time I will catch the white stag. Grant landed title of Durbant. Excellent. And I will grant you the landed title of Albia. Excellent. So can I get any more retinues to increase the power of the standing army? No, no I cannot. Because I want to get this one. I need another 300. Yeah, that's a shame. So we'll send the troops back over here. And we will get rid of the levies. So all is good. Yes, levies are down. We can relax. Naive. Oh, it's getting worse. <laughs> it is getting worse. Um, any good people you can marry? Let's see. Will this guy... Nope, we're not going all the way up there. See, I've often wondered about that, about that overcast because I was always in the impression that's what happened. But a couple of times I've had them disappear where they've ended up in the middle or at the top when I've just bought them. It was really confusing. Arrange marriage. Still won't do it. Fine. We'll find him a steward wife. Ooh, homosexual wife. No. Two of them. Good lord. Chaste. No. Craven. Wow, there are no good ones there. Zealot. She's Catholic. He's okay with the stewardship, and I could probably combat that if I really needed to. 
You will go to diplomatic wife. Yes. Send money. Demand religious education. Yeah, it's probably true. I probably clipped the button by accident overcast and it sorted them and I was like, where did he go? <laughs> I'm sure I had a person here. So many pop-ups there. Okay, so where are we going to go next? I'm really interested in this Armenia revolt. They're taking their time to do it, but I'm really backing them. Nice, that's that's a hell of a good one then, uh, Nick Lore. Part of me is wondering whether or not I should try and get some uh, different education going on in my line because I was a four-star uh, Grey Eminence when with my first character and it slowly just dwindled down to the stage now. My heir is a naive appeaser. <laughs> I actually lose my... A hell of a lot of Marshall because of that. Let's see. Do I go to war to press all of my claims with you? Oh, I got a lot of de jure as well. Uh, Conte Salerno and Toronto. How's the troops looking? Oh, 10,000 short. Uh, let's give it a minute. Let the troops rebuild. An unlanded sun. Whoa, what is this? You spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but to no avail. However, you find that you rather enjoy being out in the wild. This deals of physical activity is make you feel stronger. Win! We have got the strong trait. More martial, more diplomacy, two health, personal combat, attractive, vassal, and tribal opinion. So... That's a pretty good stat, guys. Hey, uh, Isilfrit? If am I pronouncing your name right? How are you doing? Uh, the combat, I I quite like it. It's got a, it's not huge depth, as you know. If you you've got your different types of um, troops, you've heavy infantry, archers, what have you. Uh, you can obviously levy troops from your vassals which will give you a certain amount of troops and you have to select your generals but oh it's i sell fruit it looks it looks it's easier whenever there's the first i isn't capitalized <laughs> i didn't know if it was an l or an i <laughs> but no the combat i quite like the combat because even if you have more troops Sometimes you can lose if you make a bad mistake with your general, or they've just got a vastly superior general. Or if they're like um, on a territory where you have to cross a river to attack them, so they get a, like an epic defense bonus. So, it's quite fun, I like that one. Last of Neon, thank you for the follow, much love in your direction man, hope you're having fun. Can I do anything interesting? I could hold a grand tournament, but I don't want to do that, because, meh. And I can't ra ransom anybody away anymore. Aww. So my retinues are all at full strength, nearly. But if you're looking for a new game, I sell fruit, I would definitely recommend uh, Crusader Kings 2. Uh, I have spent almost uh, 500 hours in this game in various different types and you can just get creative of how you want to play the game you can start and make an empire you can start in one territory and build your way up and or start as a vassal in someone in an AI empire and try and overthrow it there's so many different ways you can play the game it makes things really interesting it's really fun so you could and you can lose an entire day in this game and not even realize. Turn, wake up in the morning, decide to have a bit of fun, and then be. Hang on a minute, it's ten o'clock at night. What happened? Why am I so damn hungry? What's that overcast? Just educate your yourself and 
until like they're months away from 16 and switches guardian to someone with good trait. I always do that and it never fails. Oh, okay. So the education trait doesn't go by who, who trained them the longest. It's whoever was training them when they came of age. Is that correct? Send my troops around there. Oh, Nicklor, where did you start again? Did you start in India? Are you doing the, uh, uh, what were they called again? The Zunists? I'll have to remember that one then. Uh, for when this guy has an heir. Because I can, I'll train him to get some good stats. But I, I need a good education. Because that's really dragging me down now for my stats, for my actual characters. All right, Francia. The more I look at you, the more powerful you're getting. That's making me worried. Hmm. Come on, boys, train the troops. More troops. You'll have to let me know how that uh, Zunus thing goes then, Nicklor, because uh, that could be a, a very interesting game or an extremely painful game, depending on how it pans out. <laughs> There's a, a potential of being a brutally painful game. And bring the troops around because we're going to go to war down here because I don't want to lose these claims so at the very least we will take the full Duchy of Salerno how did he make the grand city of that ah, the hell with it he's made it rise of the Shia the schism at the heart of Islam dates back to its earliest days the majority of Sunnis have long persecuted the followers of Ali the Shias forcing them into hiding. The patrons of Ali look up to his descendants for leadership, but they're forced to keep their atrocity secret. Now, though, the Shias are mobilizing their strength behind a boy who they claim to be Ali's rightful heir and Imam. Imam, is that correct? Other Islamic uh, jurists claim the boy is clearly a fraud, but to his followers, he is the person who's been waiting for now to flock to his banner. So does that mean these guys are going to get start fracturing? Oh, that would be amazing if that happened. Oh, what happened to the Obsidian Revolt? Oh. Uh, that's very true, Nicklor. Depending on how much territory you can get quickly, if you can get a big enough power base, you might... You're probably going to have to work towards... Well. I think this is un... You could probably take a bit of territory up here if they don't already own it, but you're probably going to be looking at playing with India. <laughs> yeah, all the money's coming your way, Nicklor. Thankfully, I've got a nice little income myself. 35 gold a month, which is quite good. Can we upgrade any of these areas? Castle. No, we can't. Castle. Oh, we'll do castle walls. Ah, I cannot click today. Ooh, keep. And a castle town. Yes, more castle town. More gold. Um, I can't remember if I've actually turned off links. I think I have that turned off, if I'm honest, uh, Overcast, because I had a few uh, people that were spamming links that really should not be spammed, and I wasn't happy about it, so I think my mod bot will hit you with a big stick if you <laughs> spam links, but uh, I'll look into uh, turning that off. Let's have a look.
All right, Overcast, you can try putting that link in if you want, if you want to show off uh, your Zunist Empire. Go to war. I got four thousand of this. Wow, I'm back. Up, I'm up to seven now. Sweet. She is eighteen thousand though. Let's see. To hell with it. Let's just go to war. It's four, eight, minus twelve of mine. Yeah, we'll be okay. Does she have any allies? Italy, Francia, and Bavaria, so they're just people that are already in the land anyway. Press the claims. Press all claims. Let's levy up my troops and the Vagarian Guard. Alvina. Oh no! He died! Oh, He was so stressed. He, he couldn't handle being a ruler. Got a noble. Atheomus. Yeah, you're right. He's a strategist. There. There we go. Okay, so Grand Land uh, with Grand Landed Title, Durbant, Grand Landed Title, Albia. There we go. Housekeeping. So we've got these troops there. These guys are coming up. Whoa, that's 12,000 men. I need to get away from those. Uh, I need some boats. Uh, boats, 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 boats. Have I only got 20 boats I can call on? I don't want his troops. get my troops all the way down to the bottom here to safety no I will not be leading the troops thank you very much I think I can embark that army nope I need more boats come on boat Mark, get over there. Actually, no, we'll put him there, and you can sit there. Less moving around. So let's go seven fourteen. So if I, how am I Rome? How is Rome getting attacked? Five thousand. Get hundred. Two hundred. Get all the troops from this region. Get them to come up here. Isn't that a good thing, Necklor? All the Abyssidians? Who's this guy? King of Bavaria wants my niece. Who has no claim. That is fine. 
Uh, I want to bring these guys down. Gonna need it. Bring in more troops from these guys along the coast. Venice, how many can you levy? 300. You're, you're about as useful as a fart in the wind then. Oh no, he's running away. Oh, he's ro noticed that I have a lot more troops all of a sudden. He's like, oh no, that is bad. All right, guys. Whoa, there's that the time. Okay, it's been fun. Sadly, I am going to have to uh, stop the stream now because I have to go to work. Yay, work. Um, I've run on a little bit longer than I thought, so I might actually be late to work, but ah uh, well, who cares? Uh, it's been great fun today, guys. Love, great fun chatting to you all and uh, built, rebuilding the Roman Empire. So I will be back on uh, tomorrow. Uh, same time, probably anywhere between uh, set up for 11 a.m. GMT, but maybe a little bit earlier than that. Uh, for a couple, about three or four hours tomorrow afternoon, or tomorrow morning even. Uh, so if you've had fun, don't forget to chuck a follow to the channel. Uh, make sure you get uh, updates uh, when it goes live. Uh, I've just had a uh, missed follow, I think, Christ Warrior. Much love to you, so thank you for the follow. And if you guys want any updates or to watch the vids, uh, the v videos on demand when they go live, just make sure you follow the YouTube and the Twitter, which should be at the bottom of this screen somewhere. But until then, I will see you all tomorrow, guys. Take care and have a good day.